A new era begins as Octagon MMA, Europe's best MMA show, is coming to the UK for the very first time. Octagon 48 will go down on November 4th at the world-renowned AO Arena in Manchester. Where UK fans will experience the electric atmosphere and heart-pounding action that Octagon MMA is known for across Europe and beyond. We will bring some of MMA's biggest names, plus a feature bout that puts two UK stars that nobody would expect to see inside the cage going head-to-head -head after 10 months of vigorous training. One of the UK's best comedians will take on reality TV superstar Jake Quickenden. This is the fight that many people have had their eyes on. You will see UK MMA's rising star, Liverpool's Shem Rock. And one of the most well-known, most dangerous. This phenom has already racked up eight victories before the time limit, with seven of them in the very first round. And the cherry on top will be the grand finale of the MMA reality TV show, Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. After two months of the TV show, at this night in Manchester, the Octagon Challenge champion will be crowned. That's it! Great Britain, Octagon MMA is coming. November 4th at the AO Arena in Manchester. Česká republika versus Francie a šest titulů Octagonu versus pět titulů napříč celou Evropou. Cosme is a fight that I wanted for a long time. I'm ready. We we're gonna go back to the gym and um, yeah, work to get that victory. Jako to kvalitní zápasník, ale já už jsem porazil lepší porce než on a no se vyhrá u zápas a všechno. Duel těchto dvou zkušených zápasníků slibuje špičkou podívanou v rámci čtvrtfinále Evropské ligy mistrů Tip Sport Game Changer. David Kozma byl dlouhou dobu neotřesitelnou jedničkou Veltru. Juan Veličkovič je blízko ukončení a Kozma to znovu dokázal, to je neskutečné. Do Tip Sport Game Changeru vstupoval v roli jednoho z největších favoritů. V prvom kole ho velmi potápil Poliak Sivět. Sám si uvědomuje, že proti Lohorému bude muset podať o mnoho lepší výkon. Francouz vstupuje do čtvrtfinále plný sebevědomí. V prvním kole nedal šanci Pirátovi a věří, že si dobrou formu přenese i do zápasu proti růžovému Panterovi. Je to tvrdý neukončitelný frajer, no je to hlavně postojář, víme, že na zemi má mezery. Showing that I am the best in Europe is what motivates me more than the money. And I know that my abilities and my skills are much higher than his. Bude to tvrdý zápas, myslím, že fajtý zápas a bude to zápas až do konce. Most of the people will be uh, cheering for him, but once we both in a cage, it's only me and him in there. Born in France, raised by the Ivory Coast and built in Britain. This man, the Killer King, walking out to his own music set to enter this cage once again. He has become a superstar here under the Octagon banner and he is about to take on one of the biggest superstars in the Czech Republic in David Kosma. He loves this matchup. He really believes, and again, you talked about it, in the timing of this fight, in the time that they are coming together, because he has made changes outside his camp for many years. It was always about what Alex Lahore could have achieved if he had had the big team behind him, if he had, you know, focused purely on the career, not had such an emotional, you know, attitude outside of the cage it's all changed he is now part of great britain top team he is now fighting again day in day out with absolute killers training carving honing his skills and he has come together from the euro check fight which earned him the spot in the tip sport game changer to put on a performance against pirat Kristofic in the last fight at octagon 40 march the 4th a fight in which he made the adjustments didn't get emotional and then Outstruck, devastated the legend that is Christophic. 
Cosma makes mistakes. This is the sentence that Lahore says. He's experienced, but he makes mistakes. And he says, when he makes that mistake, I will make him pay. Well, that's definitely what he's going to have to do. For me, Lahore at welterweight is a much more formidable, formidable character and dangerous guy than he is at middleweight. I feel like he wasted a little bit of time with that experiment up at middleweight. At welterweight, he is sharp, he is clean, and he possesses knockout power. He's going to have to utilize that to take out David Cosma and has the ability, has, like you said, Cosma makes mistakes. We just saw in his last quarterfinal, he had that, cho that, that moment where he nearly got choked. Before that, obviously, the Kai Brito. And this is what Lahore is going to be looking to do. Make that moment count. When he manages to connect, he really needs to make it count. And Cosma's been in some wars. He's been in some heavy, heavy fights. So Lahore here, coming in here supremely confident. And I believe in the timing, I think, for him. He's surging right now. He feels unbeatable. He feels he has a great team behind him. And right now could be his moment. And it'd be a big upset and a big moment here at the O2 Arena. It certainly would. You will hear the walkout, the reception for the one and the only David Cosmo, the Pink Panther, when he makes this walk to the cage here in Prague. The last time he fought was against Gabo Borarosh, but look at the star he has become. Alex Lahore wants to steal all of that energy, all of that shine. He said in his post-fight interview against Kristofic, he said, look, most fighters are here for the money. He said, I'm not. If you're here for the money, you have already lost. I am here for legacy. I am here to show people what I know, that I am not just one of the best welterweights in Europe. I am one of the best welterweights in the world. Listen to that. Listen to the reception. This man gets, th this man has earned by way of all of his performances, by way of all that he has given the fans, and he has been on a journey himself. He is the face of the campaign. There is a fighter in all of us, a campaign which he feels very strongly about. As a young man, he was bullied, bullied with a speech impediment, bullied. And you know, could have gone one of two ways if he hadn't have found martial arts, a way to direct. Still everyone on their feet, the energy, the atmosphere, the emotions are real. We've already had one outstanding tip sport game changer quarterfinals. This is our second one of the night. This will see the former champion, the longest reigning champion in Octagon history. Step in here in Prague in a city he has not fought in since he claimed that welterweight belt against Gabar Bororosh. But he is taking on a man reborn in Alex Da Killer King Lahore. Lahore has not taken his eyes off his opponent. We look at the tail of the tape. Three years the younger is David Cosma. Height and reach on the side of Da Killer King Alex Lahore. Experience on the side of the Pink Panther Cosma, but also the tip sport odds. This, our second quarter final of the night. Let's get it on the way. Let's hand it to the man with the mic, Andre Novotny. Ladies and gentlemen, this is second quarterfinal of this tip sport game team Europe pyramid for one million euro pot. This fight is in welterweight 
division and it's scheduled for three rounds, five minutes. Referee in charge is Václav Přibyl. Let me introduce you both fighters in this quarterfinal and we will start in the blue corner. He is 33 years old, stands 185 centimeter tall, weight in 77.5 kilo. Represent Great Britain top team, Mandela BJJ. And the coaches in his corner are Brad Pickett, Vinicius de Castro Nascimento, and Ashley Grimshaw. He has a professional record of 31 fights, 23 wins, 18 finishes, and only eight losses. The winner of five Ford MMA titles, representing Neruda Cup team Einfoner, and fighting out of the France, Alex the Killer King Lohore. In the red corner, 30 years old. 182 centimeter tall, weight in 77.6 kilo. Represent Primagim and the coaches in his corner are Pavel Bechtold and Pavel Kuzma. He has a professional record of 43 fights, 31 wins, 21 finishes and 12 losses. Representing Neruda Cup team Hot Peppers. Six-time welterweight octagon MMA champion in the red corner fighting out of Czech Republic, David Pink Panther Kozma! Fighters. Three round, five minutes. Follow my instruction. Touch gloves if you want. Go back to your corner. Good luck, man. Oh my goodness. What an atmosphere. Electric here for our co main event, the second of the Tip Sport Game Changer quarterfinals. Set to get underway here. Alex Lahore in the blue corner, representing France and the Great Britain top team, taking on David Pink Panther Cosma. He is in the red corner. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Luke Barnett. An intriguing matchup, this one. The size of Lahore. Looks very calm in there, controlling the center. But Lahore had a big weight cut, struggled to make the weight on the first attempt, made it on the second. But I believe he's cut around 10 kilos. Yeah, yeah, so he's a heavy hitter. Very, very explosive. And for me, this is his round. The first round, Cosmo always is a bit of a slow starter as he lands that jab. And it's where the Killer King can try and make his mark. Yeah, you talk about that weight cut. Actually, trained through Ramadan, he believes that was the issue because he was eating at night rather in the in the day, so he didn't burn off as much of the fuel as he would. If, oh, Good. nice right hand. Yeah, lands flush. Whoa. Took it well though, but landed very, very flush as he goes for the this first takedown attempt and converts it. That's Great single to double leg entry. Big moment. Gets on top, and now we get to see how the Killer King reacts to this. Very, very static at the moment. Normally you want to go with the momentum, but he's in his own corner. He can hear the likes of Ashley Grimshaw. Yeah, and Vinicius Nascimento. He is also from Mandela BJJ. Two Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts in his corner. But this is a big moment. In the Pirat Christofic fight, Octagon 40, he got taken out against the cage, made the adjustments in rounds two and rounds three. But Cosma is so strong from this spot, right, Luke? Yeah, Cosma trying to work that left arm up to control the upper body of, of Lahore and keep Lahore off the fence. Little elbow to try and free it there. And again, Lahore very patient here in controlling, maybe trying to look to get the referee to stand him back up. If he can keep control, yeah, he's controlling that wrist with the right hand. Lahore man um, Cosmo manages to free it now. Little elbows here too. Three minutes, five seconds left in this first round. That's a big moment, that takedown though. And it's not just the takedown, it's the manner of the takedown, right? Yeah, with ease really, first attempt, ducked under, timed it very well, but after getting caught with a solid right hand. So you could, we always knew that's what Cosmo wanted to get, wanted to get that takedown. He started and opened up very well on the feet, jabbing, controlling distance. And he disguised his takedown very, very well. I just want to see Lahore try and make something happen here. He has that deep underhook on the left-hand side. Needs to move the hips. I mean, you talk about preparation. He will have been in this position and position similar a lot of his camp, right? Because there are no fools over there at Great Britain top team. No, they for understand sure, the for game. sure. But once you then feel it in the actual moment in the fight, 
Like you said, Cosme in this position, this is his game, this is what he does. He's extremely powerful here. And he's very, very patient, methodical. And I feel like I'll have the confidence, even if this gets stood up or if nothing happens, we'll have the confidence now going into the fight that he can get this to the mat whenever he wants to. And does so well to, to separate the fence. So Lahore doesn't have his back to stand up and use the fence to try and get up. He has to get up in the middle of the, oct of the octagon cage, which is very, very difficult. It's much harder to try and get back to his feet from here, especially on this lockdown side when you see the right hip of Cosma is controlling the half guard on top. Lahore needs to create some space, and he has the long limbs. It's very difficult to create space with long limbs to try and get your foot on the hip. Hey, look at Lahore's record, 18 finishes, seven of those are submissions but mainly from top position. And you need to have urgency here. You can't wait, Lahore. He needs to work, especially now he's three, four minutes of the clock have gone down and he's not really even attempted he's anything. Trying to he's trying to hold on to get a stand-up, but he needs to make it happen himself. He can't rely on the referee to get well, him back to the The referee feet. is asking, and Lahore, I'm sure, will respond by trying to maintain this position more. He keeps trying to control that left arm of Cosma, the arm that could cause damage. There it is. Vaslav Tribel, he is the referee in charge. One minute left. And the moment of this round is the takedown, right? Is the control since that as well. Yeah. Absolutely flawless so far from Cosmo. Got caught with one right hand and then got the takedown. Has this high head position. Good look to side choke. Gives it up. That forehead being slammed down into Lahore. Nice little elbow. Again, stifling this. And it's very frustrating if you're Lahore as well. Especially when you know this is what you need to avoid. Good idea there from the Hore. Trying to free, but that left arm across the upper body. You see, if you go cross body, so your hips are on one side of the Hore and your head is on the other, you, you're cross body and you control the hips and the head. If you can control the head, you can control the body. If you control the hips, you can control the body. If you can control both, they can't go anywhere. And that takes away all sweeps, all submission attempts as well, right? It is a pure control position, which... Uh, Does well here, Lahore, oh, though, nice. to pull himself back up to the feet. Finally, in the dying moments, but not enough. Hey, but listen, back Octagon 40, Pinak Kristofic got a takedown, maintained top control against Alex Lahore. Lahore made adjustments in that second and third round, which led him to a dominant victory. Oh, how it wasn't a stoppage, what the hell? Sight for Pedak Kristofic's uh, chin is made of, I have no idea but now he needs to make the same adjustments. What, what are the keys to this now, Lucas? He didn't get greedy, really, over uh, Cosma. Cosma just timed the takedown and the entry really well. Yeah, I feel like controlling the, the mid-range, so controlling the dead space, that's what he wants to fill. So throwing out punches, not necessarily that need to land, maybe feigning knees, hip movements. Here we get to see a good low kick that lands from Cosma, and that right hand just landed. But here he does overcommit a little bit coming forward. So you see, he's throwing that left hook. I would avoid throwing anything from the lead hand like a left hook. You want to throw from the backhand, you want to throw knees, you want to throw right uppercuts, you want to start your combinations coming from the back because then your hips are grounded and you're able to react to take down attempts much better than when you throw a... He, he overthrew that left hook and lifted his left hip. That's why the take down was so easy. Tip sport odds now firmly in the favor of David Cosma. You can understand why that was the question, but the Killer King is extremely dangerous on the feet, has knockout power, and nothing has changed. We're just a round down. And that is where the experience comes into play, right? Just stay composed, stay calm, stick to your game plan, learn from that first five minutes. Oh, a nice right hand. Yeah, see fast snapping shots here from Lahore. Has a lot of speed. Good jab, oh, land. Nice. Cosmo, but Cosmo doesn't want to get overconfident on the feet from that. He needs to show. Good oh, right, right hand! Drop. Cosmo's got it. He's taking him down again. The right hand rocks Lahore. A huge right hand lands there. Obviously, to get a takedown, and percentage-wise, it's going to be better for him. Obviously, now he's on the on top and has control and knows that he can beat the guy there. But I feel like he missed an opportunity there. Again, that nice. one really hurt Lahore, that really hurt. And now Lahore will take these moments, use that experience to try and regain that composure. But now he's also got to deal with Cosmo on his back. Oh, and another takedown. Ooh. Yeah, across the legs as well, nasty that. Manages to get on top. 
And we saw from the first round, Lahore needs some more urgency. He managed to get up at the end of the round, so he know, we know he has the, the skill set to be able to do it. He's a very powerful guy, does well if he can get that underhook. Again, crossbody, look how deep Cosmet is crossbody. He does this a lot, he uses that left hand on the shoulder. For me, the problem for Lahore is he keeps going up on his elbows, keeps getting up on that right elbow rather than going to his right hand. So he's allowing it to get broken down again. If he goes up onto the hand, he has more promise of getting back to the feet, if you should say. But he's not even doing that this thus far. In our commentary meeting before this, Andre Novotny said he'd spoken to David Cosmo because in the Siviac fight, he had no game plan. He said, literally, I'm just going to go fight. I'm going to see what happens. He's a wild grappler. We're going to see how that unfolds. This time, though, he said to Andre Novotny, I have a game plan, and it seems very much like the takedown is priority, and then it's position all the time, controlling that position. And you've talked about that crossbody seems to be something he's going back to again and again. And, like it's, wor said, and it's working. As a shorter fighter, the length of Lahore works against him when you go cross body because all the weight is in the upper body. So that means the only thing that he can use is his legs, but he can't get his legs back to the hips. That's the problem. So the small angles are much easier to cut for, for Cosma. And I feel like Cosma knows that he's going to be powerful on top. The big surprise of this round is that right hand. Oh, it was beautiful, beautiful landing. Set it up with the jab, yeah. feigning the jab oh, with the right oh. hand. And the Lahore, Lahore doing well. This is what he did in the, in the first round to get back up to his feet. Oh, he might turn this around. He might even get on top of Cosmo here He's as well. He's got the ankle at the back there, Luke. He's going to try and pull that away from the but cage. You can see here, right hand of Cosmo's on the ground. So he can use that hand as his base and get his hips up. So he does, he uses his hand. Oh, and he's well. that takes the single leg. And look, now he's got this position. Outstanding. Two minutes remain in this second round, and we're in the center of the octagon cage. Again, no cage for Lahore to utilize to stand back to his feet. And this is what Cosmo wants. Deep on that underhook again, cross body. Good head position. And happy just to land and hold. This would put him two rounds up, and then Lahore, it would be all on Lahore getting a finish in the third which is not beyond the realms of possibility with that. It's doubt. not, under, but then it puts him in a bad situation. Yeah, no, he's got to be desperate, to, right? He's got to be desperate. And the last thing you want to do against a very, very good grappler who has good takedown entries is overshoot and be desperate. Side choke could be set up here. And Lahore, he did well to get back to almost reversing it. I would have liked to see him separate then, Luke, rather than try and commit to that takedown because... Looking now maybe oh, to get this oh. set up for the Umaplata. Will we see back-to-back -back Umaplatas? I doubt it, but look, he's trying. He's switching it up, he's got it over the arm, oh, very nice. Oh, my goodness! Lahore with oh, the Umaplata. Oh, my goodness! Can maybe you utilise this to get the sweep. Jiu-Jitsu Kota animated, animated in the corner, oh. does well. Cosmo adjusts. Go into the back now, Lahore. Lahore could stand. He might, roll, he might roll for the knee as well. Great work from Lahore, that's what you need. Offence from the back, great attempt at that on the plateau. Even if it just gives him a bit of space to try and stand. Good adjustment though from Cosmo now, hips are in the right place. Oh, solid knee there. Right into the thigh there of uh, Alex Lahore. 25 seconds remain. Look at the difference, the numbers there, 45 to 5. But for significant strikes, and if Lahore's significantly got a strike to win this fight, he's only had five shots at a knockout so far. Final 10 seconds of round number two, and the crowd greeting this performance in the second round. Oh, Beautiful takedown. He's Dumped just him stuck back. to him. Really? Two rounds to the Pink Panther as we enter the third and final. And frustration, an audible shout from uh, Alex Lahore in the corner, and understandably so, right? It's not just a style which you, that you're struggling to deal with, but it's one of those styles frustratingly that you know you just can't get away with. Every and the time more you frustrated make space, you get, the more frustrated you get, the harder it becomes. I it's one of those vicious circles, yeah, right? Exactly. Quite literally, a vicious and violent circle. And then a man with pink hair is going to dump you on your head and punch you in the face. I mean, how more vicious can you get? Listen, I've been to a lot of nightclubs, so I'm not saying that's never happened to me before, but let's take a look back at this. That's the right hand Oh, look. beautiful work. On, again, the left hook. He enters in off that left hook. You can't throw the left hook from the standing position because if you overthrow, you miss, you leave yourself open for the takedown. And there's one of the takedowns again. And hopefully we see the third, which was the nicest of, of the three. 
desperate now, Lahore. But first off, is still a statement there in itself. But he, he, he believes in himself 100%. He is not out of this fight. He has knockout power. He can finish this. Here's our third and final uh, takedown. Great work from Cosma. Cosma should be bringing with, brimming with confidence, but needs to keep an eye on it. You look at the odds. The odds. Nine to one outsider now. But Alex Lahore has made But the tip score game changer creates incredible moments. Can it create an incredible moment here for Alex Lahore? Well, he's got to work his way to avoiding those takedowns and connecting with those power hands. <laughs> Alex Lahore talked about the experience of David Cosman, but said these the mistakes happen. This has so far been a flawless performance from David Cosma. One we don't usually see, so we usually see him having to come Wait. back from some adversity. Even the, the, the jabs, it's been, so, it's been so slick on the feet. Yeah. And again, two, two hooks land. This is the thing, when you start worrying so much about the takedowns, oh. you have to think about the hands as well. One of the main training partners or sparring partners for David Cosma has been Patrick Wait, Kinsella. Has been Patrick Kinsella, who is in our main event. And just the thought of this maybe giving us a glimpse of what we might see later with Kinsel versus Vermola. That whets the appetite. Now that's sloppy here now from Cosmos. He's drifting now, drifting over to his right side, throwing sloppy shots. He needs to be careful he doesn't do that against someone like Lahore, who's dangerous in this third round. Leaning with that head as well. That would invite that uppercut from Lahore. All, all that left head kick. He likes the left hip, the head kick, does Lahore. Right hand, left head kick. Oh, firing. Oh! Now looking for the takedown again. First time the Lahore has been able to avoid it. Nice little elbow on the exit, though, from Cosmo. Yeah, that right arm glanced across the beard there. The left side of the face of Alex Lahore. We're in a, the reality of this situation now is we have three minutes left for the Lahore to get a finish. Cosmo needs to risk nothing. Another takedown stuffed there from... This is more what we're starting to see. This is what we expected from Lahore now. Better takedown defense. This is what... He's taken him a few rounds to get there, but he looks supremely confident right now. Nice stiff jab. He's really controlling the center of the cage. Blood now starting to seep from the nose of Alex Ahore. Clock ticking, two minutes, 40 seconds left. But he's biting on every single feint. And that was, again, sloppy from Cosma, that entry. Will the mistake that Lahore said he would make him pay for come in these final two minutes, 30 seconds? There's oh, that better entry. there we go. And he gets the take down. Look at that. Lahore needs to be urgent now, straight away. He needs to get up on that hand. That right hand, he's on the elbow here. Get on the hand and stand up. Looking for the switch. Now he's on the hand. Now he should be able to, to, to utilize this to reverse. Yeah, look at this. And he said urgency. He's got to muster nice. the energy for that. Does well to get back to his feet. Needs that elbow inside now. He's trying to wait for the elbow. Unfortunately, not digs in well. Gets well done. Good, well. good work. Clock ticking though. Two minutes under. Two minutes now. First time he's been able to really get back to his feet. Get yeah, back to his feet and stop a lot of takedowns. This is the best round for Lahore by far. And looked good and dangerous when he created space. You can see the hard work he's put in really paying dividend. But is it too little, too late? As Cosmo now clings on up against Spence. Nice knee from Lahore. You see the, nose, the blood from the nose dripping down the back there. I expect an elbow to come out from Cosmo now. Right elbow. Watch the right elbow from oh. Lahore. There we go. Nice swings. Nice. One minute, 25 seconds left. This, by far, the best round for Alex Lahore. Can he make something happen? Almost see Cosmo question himself a little bit. But again, like you said, he doesn't have to risk there's a difference, right? It's Lahore that has to make something happen here in this last one minute, this last 60 seconds. Stalking his man, nice, nice right hand, nice jab lands. Sharp hands from both men. Diligent though, is Cosmo moving to his right away from the power of Alex. That left hook has been the, the weakness, I feel, of Lahore. And oh. that entry is Beautiful takedown off that right hand. And listen to the crowds. They know that clock is now 30 seconds away from ringing the bell that will see their man, David Cosma, claim his spot in the semi-finals. Make it rain, Luke Barnett says.
Because that's right, the money now jumps massively in the semi-final. It's huge money. We go into it in our last 10 seconds. Cosma. Been dominant throughout this three-round fight in that co-main event here at Oxygen 43. And listen, Lahore listen to the says crowd. That Cosma makes mistakes. That for me was the most flawless performance we have ever seen from that man. The man from the Czech Republic, David Cosma. Really, you look back at his fights. Alex Lahore knows exactly how this has unfolded. Unfortunately, it was not enough tonight. He should hold his head up high, really. He is a star here. There, his story is not told. There is still many more fights for that man to come and make his legacy, the legacy that he believes he deserves. But climbing the mountain once again, off the back of losing his title in December to Kaik Brito, beating Siviec in the opening round of the tip sport game changer at Octagon 40 and now looking like he has overcome maybe one of the most dangerous strikers in this tournament this is how he did it Luke talk us through it the timing on these takedowns were fantastic I feel like in the third round he started to question himself Lahore started to to get some respect of Cosma and he started making a few wild entries here you see that beautiful right Entry at the end off that right hand, that was perfectly timed. But Lahore looked great in the third round. I think it took him a few rounds to get going and to believe in himself. You see here from the, the uh, statistics, all the punches, all the takedowns, everything in the corner of David Cosma, the Pink Panther. Very impressive performance from him, but expected. Outstep. That's the Cosma we're used to seeing. Well, this is it again, a man reborn. Andre Novotny said, but then you think about the two fighters that we just seen with Gleesman and Cosma. Stylistically, that's one hell of a fight in itself. That's not, they're not in the same bracket. They're I don't not believe. in the same they're bracket. They're on the opposite side, but that could be a final. That really, really, we could have seen our finalists emerge, but tonight we have one winner. That man will announce it. The man with the mic, the man with the golden jacket, the one and the only, Andre Novotny. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, let's see how the judges score this fight. All three judges score this fight 30 27 for the winner and the semi finalist of Tip Sport Game Changer, David Pink Panther Cosma. Tak, <laughs> David. Gratulace. <laughs> Gratulace, neuvěřitelný výkon. Šest takedownů, si na 45 takedownech, více než tři a čtvrt hodinách strávených v oktagonu. Úplně si vymazal Alexe Lohorého, který dal jenom nějakých deset signifikantních úderů. Jaký to byl z tvého pohledu zápas? No, já jsem, já jsem viděl, že on se dá dobře házet, ale čekal jsem, že on se na to lépe připraví na ty takedowny, takže jsem nečekal vůbec, že to bude takhle lehce, ale když jsem ho vždycky hodil, tak byl strašně líný se zvedat. A tím i pro mě, já jsem se, unavil jsem se jako hodně, ale čekal jsem těžší zápas. Po dlouhých letech si se vrátil do téhleté o a určitě si čekal na to vlastně, jaká to bude změna oproti Ostravy, jak velkou dostaneš lásku i tady v Praze, tak jaký to byl pocit? Jako, Podpora byla úplně brutální, já jsem si, to, já jsem si to užil úplně stejně jako v Ostravě, takže lidi řvali, plácali si se mnou, takže díky vám za to, jste nejlepší. Ty jsi tam v jednu chvíli uh, trefil taky fantastickou kombinaci, vynikající zadní. Uh, nepřemýšlel si o tom, že bys prostě opustil ten plán, který byl nastavený na to krok po kroku, pomalu, na tu absolutní jistotu a že by se pokusil a Alexe dotá a dokončit? Mm, on jako těžko se uko, jako dokončuje, on je, on je strašně hůževná, je jestli se líný stávat, ale ty obrany tam má fakt dobré, takže já jsem se tam nechtěl úplně zbytečně vysypat. Já jsem měl na jistotu na body, já jsem věděl, že mám všechny tři kola stoprocentně pro mě a pro mě je důležitý posun dál v Game Changeru a zbytečně riskovat nějakou chybu, nechtěl jsem to. Překvapilo tě, že v tom třetím kole to vlastně ani jednou neskusil, nešel s nějakou další kombinací dopředu, vlastně nezačal tě nahánět, jako kdyby do toho nedal 100%, ale což je samozřejmě nesmysl. 
Překvapilo mě to a buď já jsem podal dobrý výkon, nebo on špatný, to už nerozvíme, ale možná se to potkalo tak jako, jako naproti. Já myslím, že ty si podal dobrý výkon a úplně si ho demoralizoval, jako vlastně psychicky. Uh, Jungwirt, Christian Jungwirt je tady někde v prvních řadách, půjde s Bojanem Veličkovičem, tak řekni, koho by si přál v semifinále. Tak s Bojanem už jsem jednou šel, takže toho už mám za sebou, takže já bych si přál Jungwirta. Uh, no, tak uvidíme, jak to dopadne. Budeme ti přát, aby ti tvoje přání vyšlo a budeme se těšit. Jsi v semifinále, ty for Game Changer, 80 tisíc euro je tvých v tuhle chvíli a budeš bojovat o 130 tisíc. Děkuji moc, můžu ještě pár slov. Já bych chtěl ještě jednou ještě poděkovat hlavně mým sponzorům, jako je Hot Peppers, můj nejvěrnější sponzor za celou moji kariéru, jsou se mnou úplně od začátku. Dále Če Čech Virus, super, super sponzor na doplňky a takhle. Iron Aesthetic, Salvator, Progressus, Montravel, Petr Procházka, Marek Šák, děkuju, děkuju David Herzina, kámo, děkuju ti za podporu, děkuji Radim Vlachinský, Solar Sea Svetana, Dabaret, Klukům z Monstrum, Barti, Žatuleň, Usušil Asin a spousta dalších, nechci celému mému týmu, tady trenérům, Bechťákovi, Leovi, Taťkovi, děkuji Evženy, děkuji da Danovi Kameramanovi, děkuji všem, děkuji vám, děkuji Rodině, děkuji Octagonu. Ahoj. Semifinalista Tiff for Game Changer a jediný Čech v pyramidě, růžový panter David Kozma. Ladies and gentlemen, Kozma makes it to the semifinals. We have seen an amazing high number of takedowns and Kozma has actually made more than three hours and 15 minutes of takedowns in Octagon. He says that he hadn't expected uh, that uh, Lahore wouldn't be ready. He thought that Lahore would be ready for the takedowns. So the fight wasn't as tiring as he thought. However, of course, it was difficult and Cosma is tired. Cosma uh, also loved the atmosphere and uh, Andrei Novotny commented on one moment when there was an amazing combination of crosses and uh, the reaction was that he uh, didn't really want to risk anything. Uh, there was this combination, but still he knew that it would be the points which would decide, so he, wouldn't really, uh, he wasn't really up for any risks. Uh, also, Cosmo says that either uh, his performance was amazing or his opponent's performance was bad today. Uh, he would like to fight Jungbeth next, and uh, lastly, he thanked all his sponsors. A new era begins as Octagon MMA, Europe's best MMA show, is coming to the UK for the very first time. Octagon 48 will go down on November 4th at the world-renowned AO Arena in Manchester where UK fans will experience the electric atmosphere and heart-pounding action that Octagon MMA is known for across Europe and beyond. We will bring some of MMA's biggest names, plus a feature bout that puts two UK stars that nobody would expect to see inside the cage going head-to-head -head after 10 months of vigorous training. One of the UK's best comedians will take on reality TV superstar Jake Quickenden. This is the fight that many people have had their eyes on. You will see UK MMA's rising star, Liverpool's Shem Rock. And one of the most well-known, most dangerous. This phenom has already racked up eight victories before the time limit, with seven of them in the very first round. And the cherry on top will be the grand finale of the MMA reality TV show, Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. After two months of the TV show, at this night in Manchester, the Octagon Challenge champion will be crowned. That's it. That's it. Great Britain, Octagon MMA is coming. November 4th at the AO Arena in Manchester.